transitional that can go from my daytime activities to my nighttime activities with my friends. So, sometimes that's a challenge. <laughs> so, I'll see you guys after I get dressed and I'm in the car. I'm headed to Dollar Tree to pick up a bag to put the gifts in. And I'll show y'all the gift um, once I get the bag and stuff. But she was registered at Amazon. And let me tell y'all something. I had no idea that on Amazon, if you have like a large gift, let's say it's like a nursery or a stroller or like a car seat, you can pitch in on Amazon. It says something like support this item or give to, I think it says give towards this item. That's what it says, not support this item. So I think that's pretty cool with the Amazon registry that you can just give towards the yeah, my dad had been driving my car and I really honestly don't know how he sees out of these mirrors. Like we're literally almost the same height and so I don't understand why he has to even adjust the mirrors, but whatever. So that's where I'm headed. That's enough chatting. I've been chatting for a minute now. So I'll see y'all at Dollar Tree. is not fair okay that line was so long at dollar tree i wish i could have shown y'all but the girl the little cashier was looking for her co-worker and i was like well i'll go see if i can find it she was like don't worry about it just go and go to register three this man came up behind me he was so mad i guess because he was next in line baby he had an attitude he was slamming his stuff down on the uh the belt i should have filmed him too but you know, when God favors you, you can't just look at favor for monetary things. You gotta look for small blessings and everything. So I thank that lady. God knew I was running late for the shower. This is a white people event. So, you know, they be on time. And here I am, the colored person running late. So they knew that I need that small blessing. So you gotta thank God for your small blessings. So for the gift, while I'm at this red light, this was on her registry. I guess it's for like a diaper genie. Um, she wanted books in lieu of cards. So this was on the registry. And then I ordered some onesies, but they didn't come. So I need to call Amazon to um, snap on them. So um, I had these hooded towels that I never gave to someone. So I'm gonna throw those in there. So yeah, that's the gift. Um, I'm gonna pack it while I'm at this red light. Bye, lonesome. Uh, the shower was super cute. I'm sure that I inserted some clips so you got to see my small group friends. Um, it was super cute, super chill. I was able to social distance, which I always love. So now I'm headed um, to do a couple of things for my mom 
and then we'll be headed to Target. I had left my lipstick out, so I just feel like I need to go to Target to get some lipstick. Like, honestly, I might have some in my car. I keep everything in my car, so I wouldn't be surprised if I didn't have anything in my car. I'm going to run to Target, I think. Run these errands. I really don't feel like going to Target. They might be on tomorrow's list. Oh, this is cute. They having a little power on the front, y'all. This is real cute. Okay, so me, Whitley, and Paris are going to a place called the Shoe Shop. I've never been there, but they have like ramen and a lot of other delicacies. So I'm kind of looking forward to it. Um, I've never had ramen. So I'm kind of looking forward to trying something new. I requested that we go somewhere that I've never been. Um, so I think it's gonna be really really cute um, I don't know where you guys will see me next um, it's 4.15 I'm supposed to meet them at 5.30 oh I also need to go to Kohl's to return something I'm all over the place Happy Sunday. Y'all, I have been so lazy today. It's 3.11 and I'm just getting out the house. I don't understand. I don't understand why I haven't been motivated to do anything today. I did some laundry. I ate some leftovers. I did watch church. But outside of those three things, haven't done a thing. Last night, I didn't do anything. I um, got home, took a shower, and watched Sex in the City. 
Have y'all been watching the reboot? What do y'all think? What are your thoughts? Me personally, I'm just watching because I can't stop. Like, it's nothing interesting about the show. I feel like they've taken the characters out of context. But I just can't stop watching. So that's what I watched last night. Um, this morning, like I said, I got up and watched church, did some laundry, ate my leftovers, and then I started watching a new show on Netflix. Y'all, I love reality TV. Love it. So I started watching a new show on Netflix, well, it's new to me, called Home Edit, where these two sisters come in and they organize people's homes. They've done, like, celebrities like Reese Witherspoon, Khloe Kardashian, and then they do, you know, everyday, ordinary people like us. And y'all, I love watching organizational videos. You would think my home would be so organized and so put together and so clean. It's not. But I love watching those type of videos. Like, even on TikTok, I have become obsessed with these restock videos where people, like, restock their pantries and restock their fridges. And it's so organized. Love it. Maybe I'll be a big girl one day and organized home I don't know so I'm headed to Target because you guys know I did not get a chance to do that on yesterday um I'm gonna also get a chance to go into Marshall's because I also did not get to do that on yesterday the stuff that I bought in Kohl's yesterday I don't know if I told y'all but I spent $20 in Kohl's I didn't need to do that so I'm gonna take that stuff back I have to go by Publix to get some stuff to make macaroni and cheese for my family dinner. So I guess I will see you guys at Target. I'm gonna also try to film a TikTok while I'm in Target. Um, have y'all seen those TikToks where it's like buying what Target tells me to buy? Even though I'm definitely not gonna be buying what Target tells me to buy. I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna act like I got some sense because like my man said, Target needs to be under investigation. I am demanding that an expose be done against the one and only Target. There is something in the air. They are doing something to our minds that forces us to spend more money than we plan. And somebody needs to expose them. They need to be exposed expeditiously, immediately, right here, right now. I'm going to go do that. And yeah, I'm going to get out of there. <laughs> Oh, 
shirt and then uh buy the power base. They have greeting cards. Today in black excellence. I'm celebrating you. That's so cute. I also have some fiction books. I did not know you had a coloring book. And then they have some books. Now this is not black history, but these pants are everything. Oh my goodness, those are everything. Let's move on to skincare. Oh, I need some um, hand sanitizer. Yeah. Okay, um, so I really want to work on my skincare this year. So I'm gonna look for some inexpensive skincare lines. Okay, so this is what I really came here for, to try the e.l.f. facial cleanser. So they have a holy hydration daily cleanser, a vitamin C serum, and a toner. So I can use this in the mornings. They also have this holy hydration moisturizer so I actually think I'm gonna try this they have a daily moisturizer too with I might do this one instead of this one okay so let's lower the heart or should I do a sample so I can 
So in the sample, it has the daily facial cleanser, tone and prep hydration, balm, hydrate in the daytime with daily hydration moisturizer. So it gives you two. So I might try this just to try it. But then they also have this. And this is a clarifying serum. So I was gonna use this at night. This cute spell for makeup. Okay. And then I have this on with this is a daily exfoliating toner. They have a primer, they have a face oil, they have a sleeping mask. Works overnight and leaves your skin nourished. I don't think I need that. So let's get one of these. Wait. They also get this one. This one comes with the super wash, the toner. And I don't know what this is. This purple one is. So I'm just gonna grab both of these and test them out for the week. This will be my nighttime skincare morning skincare. I will see how it goes. Now let me put all the rest of this stuff back up here. Uh, if it'll, I don't know if you have a bag that'll fit, so it doesn't matter. It's a big. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Oh, okay. Tell y'all what happened to Target. So I'm putting my stuff up on the belt, and I decided to like set my tripod up because you know I want to get like a little aesthetically pleasing little B roll. And the manager comes over and he was like, "Ma'am, you can't film in here." I said, "Excuse me." He said, "You can't, um, you can't film." And I said, "Since when?" He said, that's just our policy. Um, you have my workers and your camera and they're here to work, not to be on video. I said, well, I've done it before. And he said, well, I'm sorry, ma'am, that no one has ever told you that that's our policy, but that's our policy. I was like, oh, okay. Let me put my camera up. Cause there's no point in arguing with people about their policies and their rules. Cause I don't want anybody to come into my house arguing with me about my policies and my rules that go on in my home. So I put my camera up and I complied, but that's just so dumb to me. So with that being said, I'm gonna end the video here. I hate to end it on such a ranty vibe. So sorry for that. Um, not meaning to rant and, and kill the vibes here. Y'all, I'm probably ranting cause I'm hungry. Like I'm probably just talking so much cause I'm hungry. Um, but yeah, I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I will see you guys in the next video. Love y'all so much.